hi everyone uh, i hope you are all safe we are passing through a very tough time be safe okay take care of your family so i already uploaded a video regarding the electrical distribution okay so but the audio was not very clear uh, a lot of my subscribers told that the audio was not proper so i am planning to take one more video with a better clarity and proper understanding okay so right now what you guys are seeing in this video is a outline of an offshore supply vessel this blue line is the it's like a vessel shape okay so in the forward it's the bow and uh, when you go down this is the aft side of the ship and this is the port and starboard okay so since i already told uh, this is the see this is the port and starboard okay and what we are having in the bow we have two thrusters in the bow side okay these are known as the bow thrusters and each thruster motor is having the power capacity of 700 kilowatt and we have two stand thrusters each having the capacity of 2000 kilowatt okay so total we have four thrusters in an offshore vessel okay in this type of vessel okay so as you as i said these are thruster motors obviously motor need power to run then only it can run the propeller so where we are getting the power so we are getting the power from the generators so that we have four generators generators on board each having the capacity of 1800 and 1800 kilowatt okay so this 1800 kilowatt mode, uh, generator will produce 440 volt supply and it will give to the respective bus bars the one is showing in the red is the port side bus bar the other is the starboard side bus bar so what are bus bars actually uh, i will give you a real video about the bus bars showing how the bus bars looks like okay uh, when i was studying also i have much puzzled about the weight bus bars so i am planning to give you a real video how the bus bar looks like so this is a port side bus bar and starboard side bus bar. okay so as i said uh, bus bars are basically copper bars and these are connected with a tie breaker in the middle you can see the red color breaker it's open so why is it open so as i said uh, it's like we have a split bus bar configuration just keep in mind this word we have a split bus bar configuration so in order for this thrusters to run we need to give 440 volt supply right that 440 volt supply is generated from these two four generators and once the generator start the 440 will come to this breaker and once we cross the breaker it will give supply to this bus bar okay so this red side bus bar is getting the 440 from dg1 and dg2 and we have an interconnecting tie breaker why we are using this tie breaker suppose i told you the, we have a split bus configuration suppose uh, you know the port side bus bar is getting power from number one and number two generator and starboard bus bar is getting power from dg3 and dg4 and uh, suppose we close this tie breaker and think about a situation where our generator failed so you can make out that the bus bars will lose power and our all electrical consumers will lose power and there will be a blackout that situation is called as blackout so in order to avoid that we use a split bus bar so one side of the bus bar will power from those two generators and if those generators will fail we lose power on one side and another side of the power bus bar that is starboard bus bar will get the power from number three and number four generator so in this situation our ship will not go for a complete blackout like we will get half of the power in the ship it will still have that uh, partial blackout only okay so see in offshore vessels especially in offshore vessels there are a lot of configuration in the vessel uh, like as per the owner and charter requirement okay so it's basically different vessels have different configuration so in this particular vessel we have this type of split bus bar configuration 
So what our primary purpose is to maintain the electrical power in the ship. Even if the generator is failed also, one side will get the power. Okay. So I have already shown this 440 bus bar will uh, come to uh, give power. 440 volt will come to the bus bar and this bus bar, the 440 will flow the power will flow to the bow thruster motors. So you can make out one important thing. See the capacity of bow thruster motors is 700 kilowatt and, <coughs> and our generator capacity is 1800 kilowatt. <coughs> That's an important point. Suppose if our bow thruster is 700 and our generator is of 500 kilowatt, what will happen? Our generator will trip on overload. So this is an important criteria when we are designing the circuits since we are only the maintenance engineer we don't need to worry much about it but for our better understanding we should always know about the power rating of each electrical equipment okay so that part is clear so the both thruster motors can now easily run with the breakers close with the power from four generators okay and now i will go to the second part okay now you can see that 440 is coming this breaker is closed and the power is flowing through this bus bar and where is it going so it is coming to another breaker and what is this symbol looks like obviously it's an electrical transformer what we are using transformers for to step up and step down power so here we are having input of the transmo transformer is 440 volt and we are stepping down to 230 volt why we are stepping down to 230 volt because you know that there are a lot of equipments which work on 230 volt supply, especially our lightings. There are a lot of motors, our lighting, all light, uh, lightings are working on the 230 volt. So in order to reduce that 440 volt 230, we use transformers. And also the transformers have input breaker and output breaker. So like the like how we split the 440 volt base bar, the same system is followed in the 230 volt base bar also. The 230 volt bus bar also split it into two. Okay, for the for I previously said, it's for the redundancy. Like what I mean is, if one side is power is gone, we need power on the other side. It's like basically, seen simply we can call it as a backup. Okay, so we have two transformers. Even one transformer failed, we can operate another transformer by switching the breakers. Okay. So right now our 440 consumers are ready and our 230 volt consumers are ready. Now we are going to the next section. Okay, you can see that uh, there is a, there is a uh, same tie breaker in the 230 volt section also. Okay, same as I explained in the 440 volt bus bar, we have 230 volt tie breaker. Okay, that we will close as per the requirement. 